Have you ever observed two smoky lines near the wing tips of an airplane? Did you ever wonder, is that actually some smoke coming out of engine or something else? Watch this video till the end and you will have the answers to all these questions and much more. Concepts unexplained presents wingtip vortices and induced drag. Now consider an airplane flying with some velocity v. As the airplane is moving forward, air particles passes from upper and lower surfaces of the wing. Now consider an airfoil of this wing. As the airplane is moving forward, these air particles moves around the smooth streamlined shaped airfoils of the wing. According to a theory, air moving on the upper surface moves at a faster velocity than the one at the lower surface. As a result, we have lower pressure on the upper surface of the wing and higher pressure on the lower surface. Due to this pressure difference, lift is generated on the wing. Now we know air would like to move from higher pressure to lower pressure. So the air below the wing wants to move up and mix with the air at the upper surface of the wing. As a result, the flow near the wing tips tends to curl up, being forced from higher pressure region just underneath the tips to low pressure region on the top. This leads to formation of wingtip vortices. In fact, these are the wingtip vortices which appear like two smoky lines. So now you know this is not a smoke coming out of the engine but wingtip vortices. Now let us try to understand what is the effect of these vortices on the airplane itself. Now let us have a look at the airplane from the rear as it keeps shedding these trailing edge vortices. Now in between these vortices the flow is reflected downward. This is known as downwash. Hence we have some velocity component in downward direction at the wing. This small velocity component known as downwash is denoted by W. This downwash provides a downward component to free stream velocity. As a result the effective velocity on the wing is canted down in the vicinity of each airfoil section of the wing. Now if we had an infinite wing that is a wing without any downwash the lift vector L would have been perpendicular to relative airflow. But on finite wing as we have already seen that effective airflow would be deflected downwards by a downwash angle epsilon and hence effective lift will now act perpendicular to this effective airflow. Being tilted backward this effective lift has a horizontal component along with the vertical component. This horizontal component creates an additional drag which is known as induced drag. So the consequence of wingtip vortices is to create some extra drag on the airplane known as induced drag. I hope this clears the concept of wingtip vortices, downwash and induced drag. I am sure you must have liked this video. If so then please press like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Keep watching Concepts Unexplained.